So when I started implementing, I wanted to give students choice. It's just part of my own value system as a, as a teacher. And so I had a lot of ideas, you know, everything from learning situations to using a textbook to using resources online like Duolingo, Quizlet. And so I offered these choices to students. And even at one point, you know, I would recommend certain things, but it became too much for them. It was overwhelming. Too much is not enough. And the students were the ones who said to me, Madame, just tell me what you want me to do. <laughs> and so they said, can you just give us the simplest path? And so that's where I realized that all these complementary things could still have a place, but at the right time. And that um, I asked them, well, do you like working, do you want to work with a book or do you want to work with a learning situation? And it was unanimous. There was all of the students preferred learning situations. Why? Because they felt it was easier. They felt it was quicker. But I was seeing, again, better results. And so that, the decision was made with the students. It wasn't something I imposed on them. And then they helped me figure this out. You know, students even made recommendations for changing course order because certain courses were better before others. And so I like that process because I think sometimes as teachers, we, we think we know best. But I don't, I don't think that's true. And I think we need to listen to our students more to be able to really respond to what they need.